Welcome to my channel. My name is Megan. If you are new here, don't forget to like and subscribe below. We do a ton of Nespresso content as well as unboxings and reviews of products that will help make your life easier. Today we are doing a Nespresso review or like first impression and an unboxing. So I have an order here of a bunch of Nespresso pods and I figured we could go through them and then try a couple and see how they are. So I know if you follow Nespresso news, you probably know there is a lot of new pods and things coming out right now. So the Virtuo Pop uh, just came out. It was released in the United States this week. So that is pretty exciting. If you're looking for a smaller footprint Nespresso, it does look very similar to the Next. And I know some people are concerned about that because some people have had problems with the Next, but I have had my Next since like the end of 2020 and it's been fine. I mean, I, you know, clean it and descale it regularly. So I don't think I'll be buying that machine since I have two machines, but you never know. So just to go through what I have. So I picked up a couple things just to restock. So this is the Carafe Pod. It is the mild one. This is only compatible with the Virtuo Next. It is like an 18 ounce pod, I think. You're, so you're supposed to like share it. Sometimes I drink the entire thing. Yeah, it's 18 fluid ounces. I prefer the mild. It has like more cereal notes than the original one they released. I can't remember the name of it, but that one's a little bit smokier and I don't prefer smokiness in my coffee, I've learned. And I have a review on both of those pods, which I can link if you're interested. I also picked up another Costa Rica. This is just a really nice one to have. It's a five ounce pod and a seven out of 11 intensity. It's just a really smooth pod. I haven't done a video on this one. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below. And then I picked up an ice forte. This is a pod I picked up for the summer. So these are supposed to be iced, obviously. I think they're like a little bit stronger so that when you put ice in them, the coffee still stays relatively strong. And yeah, this is just a coffee size pod. They also have a like double espresso size. That's kind of a similar concept. And then I picked up the new Barista Creations line. So this is the Golden Caramel. I won't be trying this today, but I definitely will be making a video. This is a seven ounce pod and yeah, it's replacing the caramel cookie. So I don't know if I have any caramel cookies left to try it against, but if I do, we'll definitely do that. So they didn't release the new hazelnut flavored pod, but I know they've released it in other countries. So it is coming, but I got a free sleeve of hazelino muffin. Maybe in the States, they're trying to get rid of all of their hazelino muffin stock first. It did come a little bit crushed, but my box wasn't crushed. So when I looked inside, like all the pods seemed fine. But if you ever do receive uh, like crushed pods, always reach out to Nespresso. They're really good about replacing them. And then I also got the Sweet Vanilla, which is replacing whatever the vanilla pod is called now. I can't remember. But yeah, this is, all of these are going to be seven ounce pods. And then, oh, this is a new one, a Whiskey Essence. If you haven't seen Mason Molly's video, she has already tried this on YouTube, so definitely check it out. I'll definitely be doing a taste test as well, but not in this video. And then the Rich Chocolate. So this is replacing the Chocolate Fudge. I actually really liked the Chocolate Fudge, so we'll see if this one compares. Again, if I have the old ones of these pods, I will definitely compare them, but I'm not positive I have them. And then the last one I got was just uh, Mexico. So this is a seven ounce pod. It's a little bit like spicy, I feel like, and I like it a lot too. So it's just a nice extra one to have around. And then I also got in my free gift, always look for coupons to see like what free things you can get with your order. I always try to get ones that will give me like at least a free sleeve, but I also love their ice cube tray. I have gotten Oops, I have gotten um, two for free, like one last year and one the year before. So this is the one for this year. I like the blue one better, but I have two orange ones now. They stack perfectly on top of each other. They make the perfect ice cube and are really easy to get out. And it's like a silicone. So I really like these. And there's the Nespresso symbol. Oh, and then my free sample. So don't forget your free samples whenever you're purchasing on Nespresso's website. I did notice recently, like my last two orders, I can't select what sample I'm getting, but they just say like, do you want a Virtuo or original line sample? And they sent the double espresso Dolce and Costa Rica. 
those will definitely get used and then of course i got my recycling bag you can recycle your pods with nespresso for free in the united states so it's definitely something i try to do and yeah so the ones we're actually going to try are the alto umbrado i think that's how you say it this is a 12 ounce pod so if you're familiar um like two years ago they had alto pods i think they were also 12 ounces i actually have some i think because i kept like two <laughs> but yeah so this is the four out of 11 intensity so i probably won't like this but we'll give it a try so they say why we love it the glow of alto umbrado is its honeyed cereal and toasted notes and caramel sweetness a fruity touch sparkles through this lightly roasted blend of fine latin american arabicas and robusta at home or on the go it's your longer cup warm and rich golden aromatics so they do say on here which is nice because i feel like they didn't say this on the actual box before larger capsules are not compatible with virtuo virtuo plus and virtuo evoluo machines i probably said that wrong but this is compatible with the next and i'm pretty sure it's compatible with the pop i don't think that the pour over size is compatible with the pop i but I, I think that might just be because it's too small to fit an 18 ounce mug underneath of it but i i could be wrong i'm pretty sure though but this one is definitely compatible with the pop and the next and the other ones, they released two new ones. We haven't had an Alto size pod for like at least a year. I feel like longer. Um, this is the Alto Onse, Onis, I don't know. Um, O-N-I-C-E. And it is a 12 ounce pod, seven out of 11 intensity, why we love it. Alto Onis delivers a full palette of strong cereal and deep woody notes for a longer cup to savor at home or on the go through the bold aromatics of beautiful bitter cocoa spice and roasted notes comes a contrasting shimmer of acidity and a subtle smooth caramel note to balance out this deep roasted blend of coffees from colombia india and beyond so let's see what they look like so this is the onis one it's like a dark silver and you can see the pod is much larger than other virtuo pods and then this is the Alto Umbrado. So we're gonna brew both of these. I have two very large cups here. These are the biggest cups I have. I hope they're big enough for the 12 ounce pod. If not, I will have to uh, stop it short a bit. So if you aren't familiar, when you're brewing a pod, if you realize your mug is too small or something, uh, you can actually just stop the brew in the middle, like whenever, by just pressing the button again and it'll stop. So don't like, you know try to open it while it's brewing that might like break something but if you just press the top it should stop brewing and then you won't overflow your mug so we will see what happens and i'm pretty excited to try these though so yeah we'll be right back okay so i did actually just pull out one of the pods that i kept from the alto the old alto size and this is super weird i don't know if maybe people were having problems and this is why this happened but so this is the 12 ounce pod this is the old 14 ounce pod that was like the alto size that is very strange to me that they had to make it so much larger i guess maybe people were like maybe people were saying it wasn't strong enough or something i'm not sure but that is super weird this honestly feels like very similar in size to the let me pull out one of the pour overs so this is the pour over size and they actually are the same i think which for a 12 ounce and a 18 ounce that's kind of strange i do remember with the 14 ounces i had like pretty big coffee mugs to go that were just a bit short of 14 so i'd have to stand there to like stop it but the 12 ounces did fit in my big mugs so let's give them a try so this is going to be the alto umbrado so this is the four out of 11 intensity it smells like coffee I feel like whenever they make them bigger they always just don't taste as good to me i think it's harder with like the nespresso capsules to make them this large but it's definitely stronger i think than the previous alto pods it's a pretty strong coffee for a four out of 11. let's try the other one so this is the seven out of 11 intensity yeah 
the Alto Onis. I think that's how you say it. So this one is cereal and woody notes, and you can definitely taste the woody notes. I would say for both of them, I'm having a hard time um, finding those cereal notes, but it could just be because I just woke up and these are my first coffees. Let's try them with some creamer. I mean, I think they're both pretty standard in my opinion. They don't taste super different, even though one is supposed to be like a four out of 11, one's a seven out of 11. And then the Alto Umbrado has honeyed cereal and toasted notes with caramel sweetness and a fruity touch. I really don't taste the fruity touch and I don't know. It just, they both taste very similar to me. Okay, so this is the Alto Umbrado with some almond milk non-dairy creamer. I've been getting this at Aldi and I really like it. I think it's pretty comparable to the new Coffee Mate like oat creamer. I do prefer oat, but this is a bit cheaper and it is vanilla flavored. So it definitely tastes weaker with this added, but I also like it better because I prefer cream in my coffee. I also added some of the um, sweetening drops to this one and those are just uh, these. And then this one I did not add the sweetening drops, but I added the creamer just because this is going to be my husband's coffee. <laughs> I think I like this one better. Once you add cream to it, the the intensity without the cream I felt like was pretty similar, but once I add the cream, like this one holds its intensity much better than the 4 out of 11, the Umbrado one. I, I'm still having a hard time like getting like the notes that they're talking about in both of them. They're like fine coffees to drink, but I wouldn't say they're some of the best coffees that I've gotten from Nespresso. So I probably, you know, might repurchase them just because of the size. I always accidentally do this. I don't know if you had noticed when I first had the video, I had my mug set up in, in front of both of my Nespresso machines, even though I said that they only work with the next and I almost brewed one of them in my plus, but did remember that you have to brew them in the next. So definitely remember, you know, if you are interested in getting these bigger size pods, the 12 ounce or the pour over size, which is 18, you need to have the next or for the 12 ounce, you can have the pop. So let me know in the comments below. Have you tried these new Alto pods? Are you getting one of the Nespresso uh, Virtuo pop machines? They are super cute and they have a lot of colors. Yeah, I'm gonna go finish my coffee and I hope you guys have a great day.